Collision Radio is backstage with Dave Barnes at Lincoln Hall in Chicago. How has your faith impacted you like on tour, uh, being on the road, being, being away from your wife, or even in the music process? You know, it, it affects me, I, I think, the same as it affects anyone that does any job. You know, I think mine is different because I'm, I'm gone. You know, working for me means leaving most of the time. And so um, it's so important because it's the frame, you know, it's my worldview, it's my framework. And so to understand why I do what I do, how I do what I do, um, the people that I do this with, all those things have to work through the framework of my faith. How, what I'm trying to achieve by tonight's show, you know, is it about me and how cool I am? Am I trying to communicate God's love for me and people in the world through what I do? So, you know, we pray before the shows. I try as best as I can to remember to pray that ultimately God would be seen through this somehow. You know, I think uh, sometimes it's obvious in some songs, and other songs it's like, people, this is a fun song. And, but you know, hopefully, even in like love songs, even in songs that are sort of like God gave to you, that sentiment of loving your wife and being thankful for them and seeing the relationship of God giving that person to you is, is a very divine thought. You know, it's yeah. not it's not hopefully too conscious of yourself, but it's acknowledging God through that. So it's it's super important. I mean, it's I couldn't do it without this man. I think this the one thing that is kind of different. Um, it's kind of different used to about um, <laughs> uh, this kind of different about um, sorry I lost my job. watch me start but this is a bro the one thing that is different about um, touring is and do, being a musician is you're selling yourself and I think a lot of people do that but um, that is the one thing that I think my faith plays the most into is a real me having to remember like alright this I, if I'm selling myself every night this gets really miserable you know, so hopefully that's the place where I think it intersects the most. So. Did you ever have like a calling to be a Christian artist and like play in the church and be like uh, yeah. someone that toured to youth groups and stuff like that? You know, I, I heard this amazing story when I was in college about um, the guys in Big Tent Revival because I listened to tons of Christian music in college and high school and uh, you know, one of the guys was talking to uh, the guys in Big Tent and uh, one of my friends, he was kind of saying, you know, why, why did you not decide to do mainstream or, or what made you feel like you wanted to do Christian music? And, and Steve, the lead singer, and I love this, he said, you know, this is my heart. My heart is the church and I play for the church and write songs for the church. And, uh, and it was in that moment, and he said, but that's not everybody's feeling. He said, that is mine. I'm like, I don't struggle with, do I want to go play in clubs and bars and colleges or whatever? He said, I just always knew this where I want to be. And it was such a good thing for me to hear because I was really struggling season of, with like, why is it that I just don't feel, while I'm a part of that and I love that, that's just not where I feel like I'm supposed to be. And I really had a lot of guilt with that and all these things. And hearing him say that and having a couple of different conversations during that season of my life, I realized like, man, you know, like, this is absolutely viable and okay. Uh, so I didn't, because man, I would try to write Christian songs or what would consider Christian songs at that time, and it was hilarious. I mean, it was like the cheesiest, most trite, terrible music. And then I would write songs that I felt like still reflected what I believed, but weren't quite as overt. And they worked. I would go play in different venues and people that liked them. So for me, it was it was a real wake-up call. Like, man, this is cool. Like, I'm able to do, even in sometimes covert ways, you know, I'm able to do like these really unique things of like, uh, you know, expressing what I think, but in a way that's not conventional. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can go in. Um, do you find that like you find like you're able to witness to people on the road? Is there any like good stories you have about someone hearing your music? Or? You know, the, the the thing that is probably particular to this situation is it's there are I mean absolutely, but it's not it doesn't look like and I think anyone that works in any kind of job or business feels like this. I mean, you know, you end up having to be really creative with how you do that. You can't you have to be careful not offend people or overwhelm people. And so um, there's no real stories, but I've had great conversations yeah. with so many. Do you, find, do you find it's harder? Like, because people expect that you know you're Christian, you're in the industry. Why aren't you evangelizing? You know, yeah. do you kind of feel like that that kind of weight's put you on? You know, man, there's this amazing movement. I feel like these days, people people just understand. I think Christianity in this century, and especially in this decade, even in the last five years, there's just a there's a real sense of believers getting out into the world and, and doing what they do and seeing the 
their calling to their job, their vocation is as much a ministry and how they work as being, you know, vocally, you know, and I think that's obviously really important, but it's just cool because, you know, I haven't gotten that. I've never gotten heat for that. Every that's now great. and then, it's been a little bit of a rub, but I think people, and my hope that I don't get it is because I hope that people see it. I hope that they don't go, but I thought you were like this, and you're, but I hope they're like, oh, you know, like, they can come, you know, that's my hope. Okay. That's what's working for. All right, awesome. We're backstage at Lincoln Hall with Dave Barnes talking about Christianity and his faith on the road.